said Brakha Te Yahweh, Brakha Te Oshe, Brakha Te Yahweh, Brakha Te Oshe, Brakha Te Yahweh, Brakha Te Oshe. First and foremost, he wanted to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahusha, Ba Hashem Rakhakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule and break my stone. And a blessed salutation to the Akiyams and the folk on the earth, pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. I'm coming on a lesson to edify the church of Yahweh Shai, the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children, confusion of face Israelite that scatter among the heathen nation. Right, you so called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians, you are God's chosen people. Salvation is to you, Israelites. Right, you want to touch on, you know, the word Israel is a foreign word to a lot of Jakes out there. You know, I remember me, the brother I, I would dash, you know, I was talking to uh, this girl I know, we grew up together. And she, you know, I was telling she that she's an Israelite, you know, and she was telling, she was telling another friend that we, you know, we are Israelite. So the friend was saying that when she look at she passport, she see Guyanese. So she not from the land of Israel. So there's a dead state our people in, right? You know, right? That do that door side state, that dry bone state, right? But it's prophecy. The Most High said we shall discontinue from our heritage, and also that they can cut off the name of Israel and shall be no more remembrance. And that's why Israel in the in the two sides state, but what well, they still have no excuse because well, the most I said in the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves. And the most I set up his prophets to tell you people that you are the Israelites, you so called Negroes, you so called Latinos, you so called Native Americans. So you have no excuse, right? Your father is the progenitor of a nation, Israel is a people before a place, right? There's Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I give thee. And this is what the Mosai were telling Jeremiah. And the whole nation of Israel was, was, was discontinued from their heritage. Today, our people call themselves by all this by word. Guyanese, Jamaican, Trinidadian, Bajan, African American, African, Nubian, Englishman, European, you know, etc., etc. You understand all this by word? All this confusion because you, you didn't come from these, these names. You didn't come. Who, who the hell? Who the hell? Who the hell is a. Is a, is a is a is a Bajan. Who's the man? The father is the progenitor of a nation. Who the hell is a Guyanese? Who who's the man? Do we ever exist? You understand? The father is the progenitor of a nation. The father is the progenitor of a race. You understand? Right? He said, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that I give thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. And that's why we on this side serve our enemies. Right? For he hath kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. There's a period of time. Right? You understand? Jake in the docile fucking state. And Jake's proud. You know, they're proud. Right? Psalm 33 and 4. Let me get it. Psalm 33 verse 4. He said, And they said, Who they? Our enemy. Go to verse 6. Let me just highlight. Let me just highlight it. Right? Verse 6. Right? This is um, Psalm 33 and 6. The tabernacle of Edom, which is the so-called white race, and the Ishmaelite, which is the Arabs, of Moab, which is the, which is, which is the Chinese, and the Agarines. He said, Gibal and Ammon, which is the Japanese, and Amalek, which is the so called Jewish, so Jewish people, right? Which is the seed of Esau and Edom, they are the same people, right? You understand the Philistine, which is the Africans, and the inhabitants of, of Tyre, which are also the Africans, right? They are our enemies, right? Psalms 3 and 4, and they, and, and they have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why. That's why we separate. That's why we in different land, and we 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 we, we call ourselves we call ourselves by the name of the land that the so-called white man gives to the land, right? We separate by waters. We separate by land, right? Because you so-called Negro, you so-called Latino, you so-called Native American, then you are one nation. You are one nation, right? He said, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So when you tell a, when you tell a Jake he's an Israel, he look at you like, hey, like you, you disrespect him or something. 
you know right israel is our fourth father we get that right israel is our fourth father right this is genesis chapter 25 verse 10 he said and god said unto him thy name is jacob thy name shall not shall not be called anymore jacob but israel shall be thy name and he called his name israel israel mean in hebrews yasharala yami he Shami prince and Allah mean power. He's the prince of God and he's the prince of the power. So this is our fourth father, right? This is our fourth father and he had 12 sons. And these 12 sons turned, um, these 12 sons were turned into a great, a great multitude, a, a great multitude, right? He said this, this uh, Genesis 4, and one and Jacob called unto his sons and said gather yourself together that i may tell you that which shall be for you in in the last days gather yourself together and hear ye sons of jacob hearken unto israel your father so israel is our father that's why we are the israelite because you carry your father's name a land is not your father you understand a land is not your father right a land is where you inhabit right where you dwell but it's not your father right so we come from we come from the lines of a man named jacob not from, not from a land right so we are the israelites you so called negroes latins and native american indians jacob have 12 sons the 12 sons that 12, 12 sons multiplied to 12 nations which is one nation you understand and israel is a people before a place let me get that second maccabee chapter 5 verse 19 right the second Maccabees chapter 5 verse 9 he said nevertheless god did not choose the people for the place sake so he didn't choose israel for the place sake he are he, israel is his people he chose them from the beginning is his people right he said but the place for the people's sake you understand so israel the people before a place so sometimes you're gonna see jerusalem or the daughter zion or judah or israel speaking to you so called negroes latins and native american indian are the holy city which is you israelites you so-called negroes latinos and native american indian right and they tell you the land of our captivity we shall remember ourselves right so you israelite would have no excuse when people tell you that israelite you look at them like they're disrespecting you or something right but we tell you the truth you are the israelite right this is baruch chapter 2 verse 31 uh so like baruch chapter 2 verse 30 for i know that they are Salakia. So like Luke chapter 2 verse 30 said, For I know that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff necked people. But in the land of their captivity they shall remember themselves and remember ourselves. Remember that we are the chain of Israel. We are God's chosen people. You understand? Right? Because the most I scatter us among these heathen because we did. You know, forsake his laws. Right? Let me get this one this is um, ezekiel 5 and um, 5 right it's ezekiel chapter 5 verse 5 he said thus said the lord god this is jerusalem meaning the israelite you soak and negroes latins and native american indian which means the city of peace you understand jerusalem is city of peace right i have set in the midst of of the nation so wherever you israelite dwell you are jerusalem jerusalem dwell in all these nations wherever you soak and negroes latins and native american indian that is Jerusalem and country that wrong on about her right you understand the most I call we were the holy city let me get in um let me get in um before I get that let me get um Amos let me get Amos before I get that this is Amos chapter 5 verse 3 right he said for thus said the Lord God the city that went out by a thousand the city talking speaking about the israelite he shall shall leave an hundred and that which went went forth by an hundred shall leave ten to the house of israel right he said for thus said the lord unto the house of israel seek ye me and he shall live right so this this uh, city was talking about the israelites right you israelites let me get in our um, isaiah most I call the holy city, a city not forsaken. Right? A city not forsaken. 
slap your Isaiah 62. Right? This is Isaiah chapter 62, verse 12. He said, And they shall call them the holy people. Who is the holy people? The Israelite holy means separate. The most I see separate you from all other people. Right? It tell in um let me get a quick um Deuteronomy six and seven. This is this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter six, verse seven. Uh so lucky like seven and six. Right? This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. Right? Um Yeah, the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. He said, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said, The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you because he were more in number than any people, for he were fewest of all people. You understand? So the Mosai, the Mosai separate us from all this is why we are this is why we are the holy nation. We separate. Right? So this is um Isaiah 62 and 12. He said, And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemer of the Lord, who redeemed by back. That we were sold. So the Mosai not buy us back. Right? The redeemer of the Lord, and thou shalt be called, sought out. A city not forsaken. You understand? Not forsaken. So you are you so can Negroes, you so can Latinos, and you so can Native American Indian, you are the chain of Israel. Right? So that's a quick lesson to edify the church of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shem with that. We must have to edify it. I want to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem Laka Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who move that great great stone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyam, to the folk, and the earth, pushing the gospel in sincerity, truth, shallow one, 